Hello and welcome guys back to another video in today's video we're going to talk about the car duplication glitch car duplication glitch is still working so yeah all you basically need for this is a facility with your facility full uh, the quickest way it used to take about 10 minutes to do because you had to wait for your cool down on your mechanic to bring your vehicle so the best way I've found to do it is to get your mobile operations center put a deluxo in the back of that park it nearby to your facility and then basically to do the glitch this is how we do it so if you're new to the channel new to the video please hit that subscribe button and the like and the post notifications to get more daily videos let's get on with it so as you can see I've got the Deluxo in here <clears throat> we come out the mobile operation centre my facility is down here so we drive up exactly the same as the last glitch but you can do it pretty much every five minutes now when you get this screen push playstation or your X and back into the game then come away from the facility wait for a few seconds then we go back into hover mode if you haven't got the deluxo then basically you can use proximity mines and a vehicle and then spam X as you drive up to it the proximity mines will blow up and if you've done it right it should say in the left hand corner when you spawn back in that it's your personal vehicle has not been destroyed so that should not be there if it is there then you haven't done it you have to just keep doing it until you do but the best way is to use this and all we basically do is fly back up to the thing as we're over like that and in this meantime we are still flying so give it a good 10-15 seconds or until you feel it's crashed into something and then now all I'm going to do is push X and as you can see I'm still hovering my facility is over there and bring up the interactive menu and kill yourself that's part one of the glitch done my deluxo has now disappeared and it's gone back inside there so now we call the mechanic Need, boss. Some wheels? I can bring them around. And as you can see, I've already been doing it. You need a personalised plate on the vehicle as well, otherwise you'll get dirty dupes. Take this one out of here so I can show you. I'm taking it out of 870 Route 68. I'll bring it by. I'll get back to it then. And all you do is just rinse and repeat. And keep doing it. Before it was taking me every 10 minutes to do a car, now it's taking me 5 minutes because I've already got the Deluxo there. Otherwise if you get the Deluxo and you ain't got the mobile operation centre there then it'll take you even longer because then you've got to wait another 5 minutes to call your mechanic again because you've just called your Deluxo. So the best way to do this, park your car right by this rock. Make it so you've still got a bit of a gap right there so I can stand doors blocked off so now we just get another vehicle you can either nick a car or use your lorry doesn't really matter any vehicle will work and park it next to this side like so so as you can see both the doors are now blocked you should be able to teleport in and out of the vehicle if you get to this stage and you press triangle and your bloke starts to walk off goes like this or runs to the vehicle move your vehicle slightly as you can see he's doing it now so the best way is to always have that gap stand in the gap and it should work all the time as you can see 
So now all we do when we get to this stage, bring up your motorcycle club. See it says return vehicle to storage. At the same time you need to push X and triangle, so you jump into the car. If you've done it right, your interactive menu will disappear. So I'm going to do that now. And I didn't hit the glitch, so the car has disappeared. If that ever happens, basically all you've got to do is just call your mechanic again, put your car back there, do the same principle, and you'll jump in the car and your interactive menu will go. So now we've got to call the mechanic again, but now I'm going to have to wait for the call down. You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? So as you can see, it's gone back. When you hit the glitch right, your LED retro will go back to that garage and you'll still be sat in the car. So then you drive that car into your facility and swap it with a RH8. So as you can see, I've got to wait two minutes and 10 seconds for the car to be delivered again. So yeah, basically, step one, get your, motor, your mobile operation center with your Deluxo inside. Then step two, park it outside here, take it out and drive up to the facility. As soon as you get that facility full alert, push PlayStation or Xbox button and then join, go back onto the game and then that should have disappeared. Drive off couple of seconds have, then drive back and then as soon as you drive back over the facility make sure you're hovering slightly and you'll get that alert come up again count in your head for 10 seconds then press X and you should just be hovering then bring up your interactive menu and kill yourself then run up to the road call the car that you want to dupe but it's got to have personalized plate on then you drive it up to this piece of rock here like so this rock, block the door, both doors, so they're both blocked, and then you have to bring, join the motorcycle club, get it so it says return vehicle to storage, as soon as it says return vehicle to storage, press X and triangle at the same time, you will jump into the vehicle, your energy retro custom will go back to your garage, you'll be sat in the vehicle, so there's the glitch done drive it into the facility you'll get that alert up again press X go inside you'll get a menu pop up as soon as that menu's popped up pick the RH8 that you've got in there and happy days you've done the glitch easy to do and all you do is just keep doing it after you've done it two or three times you'll hit the glitch every time but it always happens when you're you. recording a okay. video I got stuff to do. it doesn't always work first time and when I'm not recording, it'll work all the time. Always happens with me. And uh, I'm still not quite into the editing bit of it. So all I've been doing is videoing my videos and sticking them straight on without editing them so they are genuine. I'm gonna go to the rock bit that I normally go to. I normally go to this side. So about there, that's now blocked that door. As you can see, I'm driving, getting out the passenger side. Shut the door. Now we need to nick another car. You'll do. You're not stopping. So I'm going to stop them. Don't need to trailer. So now all we basically do is go back to the car, block it in, like so, so the door's blocked, get out the car, go around this side, and now we're teleporting in, as you can see. So 
So now when you get to this stage, bring up your interactive menu where it says return vehicle to storage. Hopefully I'm not going to return it this time. And press X and triangle at the same time. As you can see, I'm now in the vehicle. Interactive menu has disappeared. So we basically pull the car out. And I can get it out. There we go. And we just drive it to the facility. That's the glitch basically done, guys. Hopefully you're still watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos. As you can see, I've now got that alert. Press X. And that's all you do, guys. Just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. As soon as you get seven in there and it's full, fill up another garage, go back there, call one of these up from the facility. It'll get delivered outside the garage. Drive in to your garage that's hopefully it's full with RH8s and swap them back over so you're not moving each of the cars over or buying loads of RH8s. So as you can see, I've now got a full garage. Hey, I don't know. If I get in the vehicle now and drive it outside, it will chuck me outside of the car and it will just sit there and it will say you do not have access to this car. So the best way to do it is to move all the cars around in the management thing, like so. As you can see, I've now got seven Energy Retro Customs when I did have RH8s in here. So we just basically move them all around. Like so. Some all moved around, come out of that. Go outside the facility. I'll ring up my mechanic and I will show you that my other Energy Retro Custom is still in the garage that I got it out of. And it'll be the same one. When uh, you've just seen, I've put it in the facility. Rockstar have tried patching it because every single time I seem to do the glitch now, my oppressor spawns here. It didn't used to do that. So they are trying to catch on to it. So we'll just return that back to storage. Your mobile operation center will go back as well. Just basically call it back up and bring it back to this location and rinse and repeat all the stages basically guys. So yeah, I'll ring my mechanic up. You calling for some wheels? I'm Got Johnny out on the spot. I'll hook you up. And as you can see guys, Energy Retro Custom, it's still in there. So it is still working. So please like, subscribe right, I'll get back for to more work. daily videos. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.